See this? This is a rope made of hair's ear dubbing. And I'm going to show you a really cool fly using this, but you need to see how I make the hot spot on this one. It's awesome. Dude, that's a big brown Okay, this is kind of a just a run of the mill orange tag hair's ear nymph. Um, but uh, I have I have a few different materials on there that are kind of unique. But I'm going to show you a really cool way, first of all, of how to how to make a tag just using you know orange thread. But first of all, this this new Vivas, or it's not new, it's been around for a while, but the Power Thread 70 denier is really, really strong. It's a little thicker than most 70s, but um, really, really strong. So anyway, I, I've got a, a size 14 hook, and I believe this is a three and a half mil bead. So what we're going to do is just kind of mash th some thread up behind the bead to get it to sit exactly where we want. Um, I like to unwind the thread just a little bit, but back here, we're going to stop a little bit, uh, in front of where the back goes. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread and do kind of three turns of, of, a, a like a dubbing loop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and strap that back to where my, my tag would start take it, fold it in half, and tie it back in. Get rid of the waste, and we'll cut our tag. So there we have the tag. And this is a real simple fly. So there's our tag, and then I'll just cover up those butt ends with with the thread or you can trim them off but there we go now I have a little bit of a bump in the back of the fly so before I get too far I'm just going to fill in the gap and make the fly as even as possible I need a little bit more thread here now it's going to have just a copper rib so I'll just take some this is actually medium size copper wire in this uni soft wire. It's really cool stuff. Anyway, I'm just going to tie that in and then come back up to the front because this is a really cool material that we're going to use. So it comes in little spools like this, this little hair's ear rope. And I don't even know how many flies you could tie with one spool, but they're, it, it's a lot. But it's a real sparse, really thin dubbing loop of hair's ear dubbing. We have them in different colors, but it's a pretty cool little invention. Um, let's see, let me, let me get tidied up back here. So I'm just going to tie that in, come forward, and then I'm going to use the rotary feature of my, my vise to wrap this one. Let's see, work it around the hook, and we're just going to go straight up. All the way up the the hook. So as you can see, not only do we have a really easy dubbed body, it's also super, super durable because it's got a monofilament core. So from here, I'll just take my wire and wrap it through. I wrap it the opposite way so that when I, when I catch my wire up here, I can just bend it against itself and kind of helicopter that out of there. Just like that. Okay, so the fly only has one more step, and what I do is I like to put a, a little tiny bit of squirrel dub. This is squirrel hair dubbing from Hairline. Really cool stuff, and it's just black. So I like squirrel because it's got a lot of guard hairs. So I'll just get my favorite dubbing tool, make a loop, and close it off so that it's pinched. And put a very small amount of this squirrel dubbing into that. All right, so you can see how sparse that, that dubbing loop is. 
super, super sparse. So we'll twist that up. We'll probably give it a little bit of a brush before we wrap it because we want this to be fairly rough. So I'll start just wrapping forward in like two or three turns and we're done. You don't want a ton of stuff up at the head. Oh, that's good. My dubbing twister decided it was done with that loop and decided to remove itself. I trained it well. It knew. All right. And then the last part um, before we do a whip actually is just build up a hot spot and this Viva 70 really builds up nice and it's it's super brilliant. That means it's bright. Spence. All right. Anyway, just whip finish, cut your thread off, and then I like to come in and just tease out that that black uh, soft hackly collar. But anyway, there you go. Just a simple hair's ear tag. Um, that maybe even will catch fish if you find one dumb enough. Just kidding. It's a slayer. <laughs>